this segment of our show is gold sometimes. Maybe today. I'm going to win today, Chris, because we are drafting the way-too-early MVP candidates. It's my assumption, since I haven't received a trivia question to ask you, that you have a trivia question to ask me. You assume correctly, my friend. Okay, so here we go. Kyler Murray is only the second quarterback in NFL history with 300-plus yards in his first two games, okay? There's one other, and he was drafted within the last 10 years. Who is he? Michael, I don't know your middle name, Florio. <laughs> um, you know, you're trying to set me up to say Patrick Mahomes. I don't think it's Patrick Mahomes. I'll just throw a dart here and say that it is uh, Deshaun Watson. Sorry, very close, very close, but sorry. The correct answer was a one Cam Newton he uh-huh. did it. Remember uh-huh. that start he got off to? I mean, I, that was amazing. I can still remember that going, holy cow, like, what's this guy going to do to the NFL? It was. It looked pretty amazing. Apparently, I don't remember it. I would have gotten the answer right. Yeah, well, I thought maybe now you'd remember since we brought it up, but I guess you don't remember. All right, go Fine. ahead. You you have the first pick. Go ahead. Why don't you take Cam Newton then? Uh, yeah, no, uh, he would be <laughs> towards another, the opposite of this draft right now. Uh, Patrick Mahomes. I'm still taking Patrick Mahomes. Yep. I mean, he's still uh, the biggest difference maker in the game right now. Just the way he's played the last two weeks with that offense, you know, the type of plays they ask, ask him to execute. He's just phenomenal. It's hard to really argue against it because, yeah, they got a good offense and they got good, good players around him, but he still just has some plays every game where you just go, holy crap, is that special. It's just unbelievable. Uh, and this week, the, the second quarter, I mean, I've just never seen a team who can flip the scoreboard, flip field position faster than the Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah, and look, the, the offense actually does seem to be even better than it was last year, even without Tyreek Hill, who was injured in the first half of the win over the Jaguars in week one. I, I think Mahomes, the obvious candidate, what he's doing is just incredible. And, you know, we had talked in the offseason whether or not there would be any sort of a slump because there's an opportunity to study what he does. But we both came to the conclusion it doesn't matter no. because – Patrick Mahomes still makes things happen. And when things start to fall apart, that's when he's at his best and you just can't stop him from doing the things he wants to do. It's like your X's and O's thing with a tight end trying to block a pass rusher. Ultimately, you can draw it up all you want, but it's Patrick Mahomes who is getting rid of that ball so quickly from any body position, any arm angle, that it's impossible to shut this guy down. All right. Yep. I'm going with Dak Prescott, the quarterback of America's team who has been playing better than ever as he chases that new contract almost so well that the Cowboys should consider not paying him because while he chases the contract, he's actually better than he was before he was chasing the contract, although it's only going to make it more expensive when they finally do have to pay him. He has been phenomenal in both games, and I know they haven't played great teams, but that's okay. He is running that offense. He's getting it done. I thought maybe there'd be a little stumble against Washington, but they pulled it off. They ended up winning, going away, and uh, I think they're going to win a lot of games this year. And Prescott, I said it last year in the postseason, the game against the Rams, even though they lost, he's becoming a franchise quarterback before our eyes, and yep. he has arrived as a franchise quarterback, a top 10 guy, a top 7 guy, maybe before too long a top 5 guy. Yeah, he's he's wheeling and dealing. It's been amazing. And, and, and again, yeah, okay, it's not been the two greatest defenses we've seen. It doesn't matter. I think what you and I have seen the last two weeks is a number of just big time throws and plays and yeah there is you know not everybody has been wide open there's we just showed a clip in the Redskins game where he thread the needle uh, to Omari Cooper for a touchdown I mean uh, he he has really come into his own and you said it right at the end of last year into that Rams playoff game he showed us that he had gone to another level that the when the offense stalled he could take over a game with his ability, and that's what a franchise quarterback is, and that's why you get in the conversation of being the highest played player in football, which Dak Prescott is probably on the verge of doing. I would think he's going to be in that conversation here within the next few weeks. Okay, good pick by you. I got to go with Lamar Jackson here. I hate that we just pick quarterback, 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 but that's the way this It's a quarterback award. It is. That's how it works. I know. It's annoying, but Lamar Jackson's leading football and quarterback rating right now, and I don't really care about the quarterback rating all together uh but either way Lamar Jackson has been phenomenal through the first two weeks I mean seven touchdowns zero interceptions um you know making 
NFL quarterback big time throws, you know, and, and again, there was a, there was some big ones in the Dolphins. Yeah, he was wide open. I get it, you know, uh, OK, but we didn't take any credit away from Tom Brady for carving up the Dolphins this past week. So we can't take any credit away from Lamar Jackson. And la last week against uh, the Cardinals missed a few throws, but still was phenomenal and then ran for 120 yards on top of it. Mike uh, Lamar Jackson has got off to a, a phenomenal start to the 2019 season. And, and there is a, a confidence in him, a swagger. Yeah, there, there was is. a play against the Cardinals where he was running to the left and he did a little bit of a high step. And it seemed like every time I looked up at the screen of the 10 games that were going on in the early window on Sunday, Lamar Jackson was completing a pass. I mean, this week was more of a complete running and passing performance it because was. unlike the Dolphins, the Cardinals actually were defending the pass from time to time. But I think Lamar Jackson is special. He would have been my second pick. Uh, if if uh, I hadn't uh, gotten the trivia question wrong, so good pick by you. Thank you. The, the, look, the, the 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 even though we're only two weeks in, this is why I wanted to do this. Right. Even though we're only two weeks in, it's obvious where the cream has risen to the top, and it's going to stay there barring injury. These guys, I think, are going to be in the conversation all year long, and I am going to go now with Russell Wilson. And I should have. I had a tweet the other day where I mentioned the way too early MVP candidates. I mentioned Lamar Jackson. I mentioned Patrick Mahomes. I mentioned Dak Prescott. I didn't mention Russell Wilson, and I should have. He's yeah. been phenomenal. NFC Offensive Player of the Week for Week Two. He's got almost 500 passing yards, averaging nine yards per attempt, 134.5 passer rating, five touchdowns, no picks, and uh, he's earning that 35 million dollar a year contract. And people still don't want to acknowledge. I don't get it. Why do people not want to acknowledge that Russell Wilson is one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL? Is it because they just assume he's a running quarterback on a running team with a great defense? I don't understand it. Yeah, I think that's part of it a little bit. I think some people just think Russell Wilson's a dork, okay, for lack of a better phrase, so they just don't want to like him. I do think there's a sentiment out there. I mean, even here in the NBC office, I hear it all the time, you know. I don't know that it's a dork. I think there's that there's a certain amount of his persona that's contrived. Okay, Dating back sure. to when he was seven years old and would do mock press conferences. Is that and, and there was an article in Sports Illustrated yeah. a couple years ago how about how it's all very manicured and it's not really the guy. Right. I don't care about any of that. I know. He's one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. That's right. That's all I'm saying. But I think that's part of the reason he doesn't get the attention is because of the things. You're, you're spot on. I think that's what it is. But, yeah, we're not here to judge them off the field. We go with what we see on Sunday, and we see a damn baller every week. And I just don't understand it either. I don't because, you know, they're, they're, they're an offense that puts tremendous pressure on him. I mean, I mean, they really do. I don't watch their offense when I turn on film and go, oh, wow, there's people wide open and whoa, I've never seen these type of plays before. This is unbelievable. I mean, more times than not, it's just like, hey, you guy run straight and Russell will dance around and he'll put it on the money and we'll just move the ball that way. And that's it's like that's amazing. He's a franchise quarterback. He's amazing. He's already getting into the conversation as one of the greatest we've ever seen. I mean, he really is. I, I think he's 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 joining that conversation convo a little bit okay I'm gonna give it one I'm taking a little love from the quarterback here for my first one all right oh boy yeah we saw him play Monday night I'm going with Miles I Garrett I know who it's gonna be yeah I know what you're doing I gotta go he's with Miles Garrett he's not gonna Garrett. win MVP he's not gonna even be close though there's too many great quarterbacks probably the only way a defensive player wins it is in a year where there isn't a great offensive performance probably or maybe if he breaks a sack record that could be one thing that could get him in that conversation and right now Miles Garrett's got five sacks in two weeks probably could have like six or seven really too uh, but either way he is a guy that that we all knew was a freak of nature physically. Um, and he has joined the class of, you know, Khalil Mack, Aaron Donald, Fletcher Cox, Chris Jones, uh, some of the best defensive players, Von Miller in the league. He's in that convo. And Miles Garrett has shown in the first two weeks he can take over moments of a football game. And, you know, he stays at this pace. I think he can challenge, you know, 22 and a half sacks and, and, and get at Michael Strahan a little bit. I still don't think that makes him the MVP. Michael Strahan didn't win the MVP award the year that he. No, led I the mean Cleveland will have to stay you, relevant too. Yes, Cleveland will have to be in the playoffs for that to happen. You're right. Even if he does it, he's not going to get it unless they're good too.
I, I, I still think it's a quarterback award, especially this year with so many great quarterbacks. And I'm surprised after you self-scouted yourself yes. as it related to where you place Tom Brady on your quarterback rankings, I'm surprised you didn't take Tom Brady. Thank you for allowing Tom Brady to remain on the board because really I, I sandbagged you a little bit um, because I, I, I probably would have taken him with my first round pick, but I had a feeling you wouldn't take him. Look, if they keep playing the way they're playing and they indeed go – 14 and 2, 15 and 1, 16 and 0. He'll be the MVP of the league. Uh, you know, unless the Chiefs are just one or two games behind and Patrick Mahomes sets uh, yeah. a touchdown record or a, or a yardage record, it's going to be Tom Brady. And uh, I I think that right now, even though Mahomes has been the better quarterback, and you could argue Lamar Jackson and Dak Prescott have done more. I think if they cast the votes right now, uh, well, not right now, but if it continues the way it has from a team performance standpoint, it will be Brady when it's all said and done. I, I mean, I don't disagree with you. I mean, yeah, I, I certainly had Brady here down and written down. I mean, yes, he's, it's hard to argue with any of those points, and he's been phenomenal. I mean, he really has. Tom Brady's special. I know everybody thinks I'm a Brady hater because they say he's the third greatest quarterback of all time. Holy cow, I'm such and, a horrible and, and human. And you say he cheated. Well, you say he cheated. Yeah, well, he did. I mean, we know that, okay? But either way, no, we don't freaking know that. awesome. He's freaking awesome, okay? I mean, he really is. And his arm is still the story. That's what's amazing, Mike. I mean, his arm never got credit when he was in his prime for how special it was uh, because he can do it so effortlessly. And I think now at 42, with everybody starting to see the degree of difficulty of throws he's still making with these, I think his arm's actually getting a little more credit now. But uh, I'm just amazed by it. I mean, he's still he's just got a phenomenal fastball touch he's got it all and of course the team around him's phenomenal too and they got a great offensive system and you're right they keep going this way I mean it doesn't look like the Patriots are ever going to lose ever again they're going to win the next two Super Bowls and he's going to win two more MVPs and two more Super Bowl MVPs and every Super Bowl they've won since they started on this second phase of their Super Bowl championship run has come after the deflate gate controversy and uh, the, the, the evidence was inconclusive at best as to whether or not there was any actual chicanery happening with the footballs. And I know you disagree with me, but I, I get the last word. Yeah, I know you do. Patrick Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, and Miles Garrett for you. Dak Prescott, Russell Wilson, Tom Brady for me. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.